Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, watching, hanging out, all that stuff. I appreciate it. I do hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And if you're new here, my name is Jim. I make tutorial videos here on YouTube showing you how to use various software uh, packages to edit your photos, have fun, be creative, experiment, learn, and that sort of thing. So today I'm in Luminar 4, and I'm doing something that's a little bit different, and that is um, Luminar is made by Skyloom Software, and Skyloom has two major products, Luminar, which I talk a lot about, and Aurora HDR, which allows you to combine multi-exposure brackets into a single tone-mapped HDR image. Um, I don't really, I used to do a whole lot of that. I don't do very much anymore. I mostly do single exposure editing, but I still shoot brackets fairly often and, of course, have a lot of brackets in my library because I used to shoot HDR and create HDRs all the time. So um, people have asked me, you know, hey, Jim, I, I know about Aurora, but I use Luminar. Is there a way to merge brackets in Luminar? And the official answer is no, but I like to play around and experiment. And I did a video about something similar to this many, many months ago, but I thought it was time to come back around and show you an example of this. Um, you can sort of merge products uh, or brackets, I should say, in Luminar. Here's the thing. Number one, you need to make sure that uh, they were shot, the, the photos were shot on a tripod because there is no auto align feature for layers in Luminar. So if you shot it on tripod, you already know that it's going to align perfectly. That's step number one. Um, and the second thing is there is no tone mapping. While you can simulate that, and I've done videos about kind of faking an HDR in Luminar, I'm not doing that here. What I'm doing is what HDR sort of, in the beginning, was kind of like, ah, crazy HDR. And then it started to become, how can I just blend these exposures to get a more balanced exposure without tone mapping and kind of doing that cartoonish, over-the-top HDR look? And that's really what I'm doing here. It's an exposure blend, and it's taking advantage of a really cool feature in Luminar that will allow you to do that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a bunch of brackets from a trip I took years ago in uh, uh, to Copenhagen, right? So I've got this photo. It's a series of brackets at, I say Nyhaven, but I, I think the actual Danish pronunciation is something like Newhound or something. But anyway, it's a touristy area. It's stunningly beautiful. I was there in this gorgeous sunset. Here's the thing. Um, usually when you're blending an exposure, you have an exposure for the foreground and an exposure for the sky. Now, because I shot brackets and this was like eight years ago, I wasn't thinking, hey, I need to expose one for the foreground and one for the sky so I can do an exposure blending video in eight years. I wasn't thinking that. Um, I was shooting brackets and firing away and just having a great time because I was in Copenhagen and the sunset was gorgeous. As you can kind of see, you can't really see it in this photo. And that's the point. The foreground, which is the buildings, the water, um, that sort of the lower, let's call it half, two thirds of the photo, looks great. However, the sky is a little bit blown out. And while I might be able to recover it, when I'm looking back at my bracket set, right, I'm on that photo, I like this sky. This is from one, a shorter exposure in the bracket set. And that's why you shoot brackets, right? You get different exposure times, gives you different light levels, you blend them, you get a balanced exposure, voila, right? But because I'm not doing a full HDR, I just want to take that sky and put it on that other foreground. In other words, I want to blend the exposure. So how do you do that in Luminar? Here, the first thing you do is you take the sky that you want to blend in and you export the photo. Now, I wish you could just pull from your library in Luminar, but you can't. So I'm going to say export to image. I've already done this. I put it on my desktop and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go back to my library. I'm going to go over here to the photo. I've got the foreground that I like. Now I want to add the sky. So you might think, hey, I'm just going to drop in a new layer and then mask it in. And you could do that. It's a little bit tedious. There's a much easier way, but it only works on certain photos. And the easier way is using the sky replacement filter. If your sky is fairly uh, blown out and this is not grayed out, which means Luminar recognizes the sky, you can use sky replacement to pull in that other bracket image. Let me show you. I'm going to say sky selection, and I'm going to say load custom sky, and this comes up. This is the image that I exported, and I'm going to say open, and it's going to stick it into the new sky. It looks terrible. Um, and the reason why is because you need to fix the horizon position. All you do is take that all the way to negative 100, and guess what you just did? You just blended that sky into that base photo. So now I've got the perfect sky on the perfect foreground. Now you might come in here and fix relight scene and maybe mess with 
close gaps or sky local if you feel like you need to. I think it blended incredibly well. And in fact, um, actually it blended perfectly. I think it looks really good there and it looks like it fits. And here's the other thing. When, when you share this photo, you don't have to, like I generally disclose if I put in a photo of a new sky from a different photo into a, a new photo or whatever, um, I generally like to disclose that because I just, that's just how I operate. I don't know, I just prefer to say, hey, I didn't really see that, I made that. But you can say, I saw this because that is what you saw. You saw a sunset, the dynamic range of your human eyeball saw that. Now, your camera saw that, right? So you don't even have to say, well, I put in another sky. It doesn't matter how you make the sausage. It's all from the same bit of sausage or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So now I've got a perfectly blended exposure. I've just basically taken one bracket and stuck it on top of the other and done an exposure blend using sky replacement. Again, it only works if Luminar can recognize the sky in the photo because if, it, if that's grayed out and it means Luminar doesn't recognize it. So I would experiment with the photo before you export the new, new one that you're putting in. But do all that first, put in the new sky, and then come over here and have fun with it, right? So I might say, uh, I wanna go a little bit cooler, a little bit of tint, I need some contrast. I wanna pull down the highlights a tiny bit. I wanna bump up the shadows. I'm gonna go into AI Enhance, maybe pull that up a little bit. Um, structure, maybe I'll take that a little bit left, soften it up, why not? Get a little uh, dreamy with it. I'm making this up, my, my friends. Um, I don't really have a plan for this photo other than show you how to put in the new sky. So now I'm just kind of, um, you know, riffing here, for lack of a better word. Golden hour is a, a great look. Um, the point is you could go through, and you know what, I might have to go get a little mystical while we're hanging out. Since we're just chilling and being friends, let's just do that. Let's get a little Orton. I love that dreamy kind of look. Anyway, you can kind of see how that's operating. Now, the other thing I notice is I need to add a new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go get... Uh, the adjustable gradient and on the bottom I'm gonna warm it up a little bit because I feel like it's getting a little too blue in that bottom and I want to warm that up that feels like that makes the tones match a little bit better that's just this photo every photo is different the thing I wanted to show you was you can very quickly and easily if you shot brackets number one and shot them on a tripod number two again the tripod is because that will make sure they merge or blend perfectly. Otherwise, if you're shooting handheld brackets, you may have some micro movements. I don't know about you, but I'm super twitchy. And so if I shoot handheld brackets in Aurora, it does auto align so I can get away with it. But um, I can't always get away with it with this method if I shoot handheld. But that's why I use a tripod. But I took this guy from the other one and stuck it on here. And now I feel like I have a beautiful photo that I love. I'm actually going to go play with it a little bit and uh, make some further adjustments to it. But that's how you do it, my friends. That's a simple exposure blend, basically a bracket merge in Luminar, taking a bracket from uh, you know, a darker sky bracket and merging it with a lighter foreground bracket from the same bracket set shot on a tripod. That's a tip, that's a trick. I hope that's a lot of fun for you. It's super easy. I'm gonna go customize this image and get a banger looking awesome photo because that was one of the best sunsets ever. And some of it is just the feeling I had because I was in Denmark. It was my first time to Copen Copenhagen. I've been three times, I think. Um, it's an absolutely stunning city, but that was my first time. And I got that sunset on my first night there. It, it was just amazing. So I'm a little bit fired up about it, but that's how you do it. Simple, easy, quick, and fun, I might add. And like I said, it's your actual photo. You don't have to say, well, I got that sky that I bought on the Luminar Marketplace or I bought somewhere else or I took somewhere else and stuck it in there. That's the sky that you saw. So it's a true exposure blend. And um, that's how I do it, my friends. So I hope you find that helpful. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Give me a like if you would. How about a, uh, a share? That'd be super awesome. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon, my friends. I'll be back with more videos. I'm having fun. I got some more stuff in this kind of realm to do. And if there's other things you're looking for, hit me up down below and I'll put it on the list. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and... Adios.